Good morning friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Medical Classes by Dr. Srinidhi Kumar Acharya. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, channel and also please give your valuable comments. My dear friends, you can also visit my playlist. In the playlist I have provided almost all the topics in a very systematic order. You can make use of it. It is quite convenient for the study. Anyway, so today we will going to deal with another very important topic in pediatric practice so that is diagnosis of fever in children so diagnosis of fever in children is actually talking very difficult this is one of the most commonly attended symptom in the OPD maybe in the IPD but still many of the time we will have so many dilemmas in diagnosis in the fever and uh, what actually it result is it result in unwanted medications once you know exactly about the basic nature of the fever, once you know how to diagnose the fever, once you know how to assess the severity of the fever, and once you know how to assess the type of the fever, then you can avoid so many medications. So with this uh, basic interest, so now onwards we will study about the fever in children and uh, we'll try to cover almost all the required facets. Now fever is the body response to the tissue injury. Now one of the most common thing that we need to understand is fever is not our enemy, fever is our friend. This we have to understand. Okay, fever is not the enemy, actually fever is the friend. How fever is our friend, that we have to understand. Now fever, when fever occurs, the fever usually occurs whenever there is any, any type of tissue injury. When your body faces any type of tissue injury, that tissue injury may be because of uh, an infectious agent, non-infectious agent or toxic agents or it may be sometime because of any injuries or wound etc. So there will be fever because this is a body response to tissue injury. And as we know, a fever is not only because of infection. Of course, infection is one of the major cause of fever, but infection is not the only cause of the fever. We have the fever without infection also. That is called as non-infectious inflammations, which is seen in case of immunological fever. Even the injuries like chemical injuries sometimes, mechanical injuries, immunological injuries, and malignancy, etc. may also cause a fever. Suppose you take any malignancy, there will be a mild fever. But in malignancy, there is no infection, but still there is a fever. Drug fever, we will have increased body temperature. Although there is no infection, we will have the fever. Okay, so many chemical injuries, so many mechanical injuries, we will have the fever. So, uh, uh, infection is not the only cause of the fever. We have got so many other causes for the fever also, that we will see in detail. Now, infection is to control the damage and helps to... Uh, uh, repair for example whenever we have got pain or whenever got, we had a fever we should not uh, consider this as our enemy this is one trouble some symptom for us we should think that this is our friend because if that is not there so body would have in face some more tissue damage okay so intention of come intention of appearing a fever appearance of the fever is to help for the repairing process it will going to help in the re repairing process now i will give an example suppose a patient will fall and suppose the fracture would have been taken place but he has got very severe pain and he is now cursing the pain doctor please relieve this pain rest of the things i will manage no so he is cursing the pain. Next day when the patient goes to the uh, OPD and get an x-ray done, it was found that the bones were broken. But what prevented the bones from breaking further is that particular pain. Because of that pain, okay, so further damage to the broken leg or bone has been prevented. Similarly, when there is a fever, intention is when there is a fever, that fever will go into help in the tissue repair and it prevents the further damage. So therefore I am repeatedly telling, 
fever is not our enemy fever is our friend similarly the fever is also body's response which is meant to control the damage caused by different methods so don't equate always it with the simple infection sometimes fever is also due to certain thermoregulatory mechanism which is abnormal many times the feeling of hotness in the body or a hyperthermia may not be related to infection at all it may be related to some of the other acts for example in case of thyrotoxicosis some of the hormonal problems you will have increased body temperature but it is not because of the fever it is not because of infection there are some changes in the thermo regulatory mechanisms okay some abnormality is there in the thermo regulatory mechanism because of which there will be hyperthermia okay we have got so many other example in children if you talk about small kids we have got a condition called as dehydration fever the whole body is now feverish looking feverish the reason is dehydration dehydration fever which is common in the newborn babies similarly we have got atropine fever excess intake of the atropine containing drugs or derivatives okay atropine blocks the sweat glands so as a result there will be uh what do you say a fever increase of fever similarly thyrotoxicosis similarly so many drugs so what is the intention of this slide is here fever is our friend not our enemy fever helps to prevent the further damage and helps in the tissue repair fever is not only because of infection there are so many other causes for the fever also okay so now fever is a protective phenomena so repeatedly we are telling that fever is a protective phenomena but we should know now now by this time we should know how it is a protective phenomena for example the thermo regulatory center the hypothalamus in the hypothalamus there is a set point of temperature we have got a thermo regulatory center which is situated in the hypothalamus always our body temperature is maintained at 98.6 degree fahrenheit so how it is maintained at that particular 98.6 degree only the reason is your thermo regulatory center has been get set up for that particular temperature hypothalamus has set that particular temperature at 98.6 therefore 98.6 is normal for your body for the normal functioning of your body okay suppose whenever a person or child is get injured there may be injury in the sense it may be a tissue injury the body says that there is need to increase the heat of the body to control the damage now suppose the infection enter inside the body it cause some tissue damage now the body demand hypothalamus that you have to increase a set point of temperature from 98.6 to somewhere around 99 or 100 because i want excess heat that excess heat will go in to help me to fight with this particular infection looks very strange isn't it this is what body demand actually okay what is the reason for this demand that we will see now when the body demand like this the repairing process starts that means body require that extra amount of the heat to be get produced in the body to fight with that particular pathology pathogen and also to start the repairing process of tissue damage now for a given situation of the injury uh, the temperature regulatory center will be given uh, will set a given temperature maybe at 101 degree or 102 degree let us take the example there is the infection and after the infection the body demand is there to increase the temperature so now thermo regulatory center set the temperature at 101 degree instead of a 98.6 now when it is set the temperature now later by different mechanisms what happens now by the different mechanisms body raise the temperature to this level maybe by increasing the metabolism and all those things okay so once the hypothalamus set the temperature at 101 degree instead of 98.6 now by different methods in the body uh, like metabolic functions vasomotor area functions okay increasing the vessel metabolic rate increasing the blood circulation etc by different methods the body temperature will be now maintained at 101 instead of 98.6 and this is the demand of the body this is the demand of the body because body want this particular temperature to fight against the infection now who fix the hypothalamic set point for the temperature now what happens when once this happen few of the symptoms are not attributed to the particular system okay now as we know that fever is not an localized symptom fever is a generalized symptom isn't it 
fever is not only occurring in the one part of the body in ayurveda we say fever davatu then uh, tapa daha etc so there are the localized increase in the temperature but when you take jora or fever it is a generalized symptom just like a pain pain may be localized but otherwise pain is a um, pain is most of the time localized okay we cannot have pain all over the body so this is a very vague symptom but pain in the legs pain in the limbs yes it's more and more localized but fever is not like that fever is a generalized symptoms now who will fix the hypothalamic fixed point for the temperature now suppose if due to infection there will be production of the pyrogens whenever there is the infection there will be production of the pyrogens so these pyrogens they will release the prostaglandins and interleukins and the cytokines so usually called the cytokine surge okay so whenever there is the infection there is production of some of the pyrogens these pyrogens now further release the prostaglandins interleukins and as well as cytokines so this cytokine surge will set the temperature set point at high level okay this is very important when i i simply told the body demand so why body demand because whenever there is a infection there is a production of the pyrogens pyrogens further produce the prostaglandins interleukins and cytokines so this surge of these cytokines so that will going to set the new set of temperature in the hypothalamic set point set point because that temperature is conducible to the body to fight against the infection now because body wants such a high temperature to fight with the pathogens so high temperature increases the now what happens whenever the high temperature is there what actually it helps the body to fight against the infection isn't it it's quite interesting now why because whenever there is a high temperature what happens it increases the blood flow okay temperature when it is more to distribute temperature has to be distributed throughout the body isn't it that's the reason why fever comes and it is a generalized symptom present all over the body so whenever there is a high temperature now this temperature has to be distributed equally so who will going to distribute the distribution is taken place by the blood okay so high temperature increases the blood flow okay in order to distribute this extra or release or take away this extra amount of the temperature it is only possible by the blood so therefore blood has to increase the circulation as a result blood circulation will increase when the blood circulation increases what happens different immune factors now reach the site very rapidly it may be leukocyte monocyte or lymphocyte neutrophils etc so what happens uh, <coughs> immune factors so they now reach the site of tissue injury very rapidly because of increased blood flow so this is the help done by the temperature temperature increases that leads to increase blood circulation increase blood circulation now makes the easy reaching of uh, the immune factors like wbc etc to the site of the injury and repairing takes place very early increased circulation also provides the nutrients to the fighting cells so when circulation of the blood increases it also provides more and more nutrition to the fighting immune cells so thus it helps in early excretion of the debris thus it helps in early secretion uh, excretion of the debris so these are the basic things usually why we will say that fever is not our enemy fever is our friend that increased temperature itself will go into help us to fight against the infection suppose if you try to subside this fever by one or the other method actually we are helping the pathogen and we are not helping the body body's demand is increase the body temperature so that i can make the blood circulation move faster and uh, the immune cells reaches the spot early and as well as the nutrients reaches the spot early so that repair takes place at the earliest so therefore always we say that fever is our friend fever is not our enemy in the next class we will see some of the more important aspects related to fever in children thank you